Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video where I am listing PSAs in a certain category. So after all the positive feedback that I got on the top 20 scariest PSAs, I've decided to do the top 20 most effective PSAs, which it's absolutely insane the amount of positive feedback and views and stuff we've gotten for the last video, so thank you very much. So after the great feedback I got on my top 20 scariest PSAs video, I've decided to do a top 20 most effective PSAs video now. Some of the PSAs from the last video will be in this video as well, but honestly, I have found this video harder to make because I find there to be more effective PSAs than there are scary PSAs. But once again, I don't want to waste time, so let's get into my personal opinion of the top 20 most effective PSAs. If your chip pan catches fire, don't panic. Just follow these instructions. One, turn off the heat. Two, run a cloth under a tap and wring it out. Three, cover the pan and then wait until it's cooled right down. Don't try and move the pan, and whatever you do, don't throw water over the fire. The effects can be devastating. This PSA just managed to squeeze its way onto this list. The reason why I find this PSA so effective is that it actually has some good advice if you're cooking chips in the pan, but who cooks chips on the pan anymore? I imagine a lot of people did around the time of this PSA's release, so look, I'm going to let it slide. Also, the reveal at the end does hit hard because it shows the viewer what can happen if you put water over a chip pan fire, and as she says, it can be quite devastating. If you try to stop a friend from using drugs, you may not succeed, but at least you tried, and that's what friends are for. A message from Concerned Children's Advertisers. Yeah, I've held this PSA up pretty high in the past, and honestly, I don't care if you disagree, I just really like this PSA. I honestly think that it's the message and the music in this PSA that really sells this PSA to me and makes it more effective. The whole message of if you try to help your friend get off drugs, and even if you don't succeed, at least you tried message, is really fucking good, and also, it's actually ahead of its time since this PSA was made in 1992. Also, it's my favorite concern children's advertisers PSA, and honestly, for good reason. I mentioned this PSA on my last list, but honestly, this PSA is just really solid. I'll try not to repeat myself too much in this video since I talked about this one in the last video, but the whole build up to slowly reveal the guy with a missing hand is really well done and very effective. Also, the end text of this PSA was Sears campaign at the time, and it translates to you're a moron if you stunt with fireworks. Probably something I should have mentioned in my last video. Oops. This morning I told my daughter that school will be okay. I told her her friends would understand and treat her the same. I told her that everyone would look past the scars and still see her as a beautiful girl. I told her that everything will be like it was before the fire. 
I lie to my daughter today. This one is just so sad and depressing, but it's effective. I find this one so effective because of how bad and guilty the father feels throughout this PSA. It's honestly just so real and so sad, and I can't say it enough. That's when I end up finding PSAs really effective is when they completely cut the bullshit and just be real with the audience, and this PSA does that really well. Obviously this PSA had to make it onto this list, why wouldn't it? The fact that this PSA is disturbing really makes it more effective, and the fact that this PSA just holds on the shot of the guy slowly getting pulled in by the machine, slowly getting squashed, makes this PSA a lot more effective. This is another one that was in my previous video, which I honestly don't have much else to say about this PSA that I haven't already said over there. I told you that there's a few PSAs from my last list on here. I did say in my last list that this PSA is really effective and it really is. Everything from the room with the girl alone in the room and also her being in the corner, being quite claustrophobic, to the guitar notes that is sounded when she tries to talk, it really illustrates its message very well. This PSA honestly always makes me quite sad because it really makes you feel for the main character of this PSA and that's why it's so damn effective. Sarah, is everything all right? Come on, of course this had to be on here as well. Another PSA that shows off its message so well to its audience. The fact that having multiple sclerosis feels like you're trapped in a box and not being able to reach out and take control is so good. It's another PSA that really makes you feel for the main character and that's what makes the PSA so damn effective because you really feel for her performance and you really feel sad for her that she has to go through this disability.
Honestly, I'm just going to say this shit straight up. This is probably the best twist ending PSA I've seen. Well, the start of this PSA seems quite ordinary until it's revealed that the main character actually has an eating disorder and it's like, holy shit. Honestly, I think it accurately depicts how it feels to have an eating disorder and how you look at yourself while having an eating disorder as well. And it's just so damn effective. I forgot this PSA actually existed for a while, but damn, it is effective. Again, if they, you worthless little cow. Come on in. Check the three. I, I don't know what it says, all right? You okay? Here, here, 20 quid. Run, give me the money! Run! You worthless little cow. I, I don't know what it says. Here, 20 quid. Give me the money! Worthless little cow. I don't know what it said. Here, 20 quid. Money! Worthless. It says 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 I thought like this PSA is quite effective because a lot of people that do end up having drug addictions do go through this cycle and that's why I find this PSA so effective. Also, of course, this is another PSA where if the performance absolutely sucked, then everyone would just laugh at it or absolutely hate it. Smoking causes mouth cancer. If it didn't, I wouldn't be needing radiotherapy and chemotherapy. If looking at mouth cancer on your cigarettes makes you uncomfortable, look at another part of the pack. Quitting is hard. Not quitting is harder. I remember seeing this on TV so well. Sometimes just this single PSA would air on TV instead of Everybody Knows, which I talked about in my last list, but I feel like this one's more effective because it has more time to actually focus on the topic at hand compared to Everybody Knows where it kind of quickly goes through everything. Maybe I put this a bit too high on my list, but I remember seeing this so much as a kid and I feel like it's had a massive effect on me and my view of smoking, so that's why it's so damn effective. Before it throw cancer, they've come in and removed my voice box. Before they did this, they found out I got lung cancer as well. And the future plans right now are Alexander, my oldest, is coming over here for a holiday on December 13th. I will be alive for that. Call 0800-169-0169. Yeah, another PSA that was actually in Everybody Knows. But honestly, this PSA is just so depressing as Anthony, the man in the PSA, says he's going to be alive for when his daughter comes, but he ended up dying 10 days before she came. Honestly, it's just so sad and devastating, and it shows the effects that smoking can have not just on you, but your friends and family as well.
RSPCA for all creatures great and small. See, not all effective PSAs have to be dark and disturbing. This is another PSA I remember from my childhood because this was on good old Free Day TV and I didn't have Foxtel back in the day so I'd see this PSA quite a lot. It's such a charming PSA and you really care for the dog in this PSA as well. I also really like the ending of this PSA because it's so sweet and it really adds to the charm as well. Also, that dog is really fucking cute. When your smoke alarm goes off, make sure you know what to do. Plan your escape now, or you might live to regret it. Holy shit, this PSA is so good. Starts good in all where you get to see the main character's nightmare, but the thing that really sells this PSA to me is the ending. The reason why is because in the ending, you get to actually see that he's living through his nightmare because his family died to a house fire. It's so depressing, but holy shit, it is effective. may be controversial to put this up so high, but this is my opinion. I find this PSA so effective because it really shows the viewer how dangerous fire can be and how unpredictable the spread of fire can be. Also, this fire wasn't fake. It actually happened, but it happened back in 1985 in a Div 3 English League game back in Bradford City. Honestly, look into it if you're interested. It's quite sad and depressing. The little girl she said to me What are these things that I can see Each night when I come home from school When mama calls me in for tea Oh, every night a baby dies and every night a mama cries What makes those men do what they do To make that person black and blue Tell me there's a heaven Tell me that it's true God, this PSA always gets me into a sad and depressed mood. I find that the music really gets you in the mood of this PSA as you're reading the disturbing stuff in this PSA. And also the fact that parents can abuse their kids is absolutely disgusting. And the fact that they try to cover that they abuse their kids is fucking terrible. It is just so fucking disgusting that people have to deal with shit like this. And if you are dealing with this at the moment, there will be helplines in the description for Australia, UK, and US. This PSA is just so simple with only the music and text and you get to see images of each kid. And it's just so damn effective because of that.
My name is Jacqueline Saborido. This is a picture of me before I was hit by a drunk driver. Before the car caught fire. Before two of my friends died. Before I needed more than 40 operations. This is me when my life was just like anyone else in college. This is me after being hit by a drunk driver. Don't drink and drive. Ever. Yeah, this one had to make its way onto the list. It's honestly just so effective and simple with Jackie covering her face, explaining what happened the night before the accident, and then to reveal her face after the accident. It's just absolutely devastating and it is very effective. It's honestly just so damn effective because it really hits you in the feels. It makes you feel sad for her that she has to go through this and especially how she ends up looking like this after the accident. Also, I actually ended up watching the um, interview that Jackie did with Oprah and it is really sad. If you want to check it out, it is on YouTube so you can go watch that. キッ。This one is honestly just so sad. It's honestly the ending that really sells this PSA to me where the kid loses her mother to drugs. There's a shorter version of this PSA, but I feel like this longer version of the PSA is a lot more effective because it really has more time to focus on its message compared to like the 15 second version where it doesn't really have much time to develop things at all. Also, the message of this PSA that the damage you'll not only cause to yourself, but to others is so damn effective. And it's just true. It's just a huge void and there's nothing to fill it. Nothing at all. The driver had been drinking and just smashed his car in the back of Michelle's car and she died of head injuries. Oh, she was lovely. She was full of energy, full of enthusiasm. Even if I could just hold her hand for five minutes or tell her again how much I love her or just touch her hair, I'd, I would give the world for that. Fuck, here come the waterworks. This one is honestly just so upsetting. You honestly just really feel for this couple in the PSA. And there are other PSAs in the same campaign, but this one's more effective because this one focuses on the victim's parents compared to the other PSAs that focus on the actual killers themselves, which I'm not disregarding the other PSAs because they are really good, but it's just this one's the most effective PSA out of the four. You honestly just really feel the parents' pain in this PSA and it's just so sad and depressing. Also, I don't know how many times I can say sad, but it's just honestly the best way to describe most of these PSAs because they are really depressing. But yeah, the main reason why I think this is so effective is because you can really feel the sad emotion and the pain that the parents are going through that they lost their daughter to a drunk driver. It's still being tested. Take ecstasy. The the guinea pig. Fuck. Yes. I am an absolute fucking sucker for this PSA, to be completely honest. I feel like this PSA does everything right, but it doesn't say too much or too little. And it stays simple, but effective. I talked about this PSA in my last list, but I honestly love everything about this PSA. And the fact that no one knows how much brain damage ecstasy causes is so fucking effective for this PSA. Also, that line, take ecstasy and you're the guinea pig, is so effective. And I'll probably never forget that line, ever, to be honest.
two every meter, is my understanding. Chris? There's one other thing, uh, I'm not sure whether you're aware, the young fella has in fact died. Are you aware of that, were you, Chris? Yep, a PSA that's more effective than my most favourite PSA, and I will explain why. I find this PSA so damn effective because this is another PSA where you really see the pain and grief of the main character, but this main character actually ended up killing a kid in a drink driving accident. I know the PSA Live With It from Think did the same thing before this one, but I find this one to be a lot more effective. The performance in this PSA is so much better than Live With It because in this PSA you really see the main character react to actually seeing the kid around where he goes. Compared to Live With It where the guy barely reacts at all until the end. Maybe it is my nostalgia for this PSA because I remember seeing this so often on free to air TV but Live With It just isn't as good as this PSA and I feel like this PSA does everything better compared to that PSA. Also that is why it is my top pick on this list of most effective PSAs. So guys I hope you really enjoyed this PSA list and as always if you did enjoy this video make sure to like the video. Also comment down below if you agree with my list or not. And if I should do more lists in the future, I honestly really appreciate all the support on the last list. It is absolutely insane. Like, I really didn't expect that video to do so well, but thank you all so much for the support. It's fucking insane. Also, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to subscribe as I do really appreciate it. It does help me out a lot. And also, it is amazing to see some new faces from the TikTok coming over to YouTube and Discord as well. I really appreciate seeing you guys over there and it is amazing. But anyways, I will catch you all in the next video.